Welcome. This tutorial is about the SSIS Dragon blogs and getting logged in and using them. So to start with, you need to go to blog.ssis.edu.vn and once you get to the launch page, you come over here and go ahead and just log in. So I'll log in quick. Recent posts here, but I'm, I'm just going to click on the high school as an example. And you'll notice all of these, grade 9, 10, 11, 12, all of these names. If your name is not underneath here, it's because you've never logged in. Once you log in, uh, your name will populate here within 24 hours. So we're just going to pick one of these students over here. Let's try going into Dan Dance just as an example. Okay, this is what your blog looks like right when you log in for the very first time. Okay, now he's got some prior posts from last year. The name of his blog is his ID number, so that's going to be the very first thing you're going to want to change. So you're going to come over here to Dashboard, and then go into Settings, and go to General. Once you're in General, you can get, you'll get to Site Title. You're going to want to change this from 100700 to your first name. So in this case, Dan Dan's blog, right? and then you just scroll down and hit the save button. Once you've got that all set, now your blog, you'll notice right up here is named your first name. We can actually look at the site. You can check and it has a name. It's no longer 100700. It is an actual name. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to actually make sure um, that your display name is what you want. So up here you'll notice my display name okay, is Arapino. For many of you, and for me, you might want to go by your first name. So what you need to do is go to Users and go to Your Profile. Okay, and then down here, you've got your username. So you should see your first and last name, possibly a nickname here. Okay, if it's the wrong nickname, go ahead and change your nickname. My first name is Robert, so that nickname would be the, font, the same. And then display name. This is the name right here that is displayed in the top corner up over here. Okay? And it's also the name that's going to populate on this page back here. So make sure it's spelled right. Make sure it's the name you go by. Um, use your first name. I'll put mine in there just for this time as Robert. And then just go ahead and update. Okay? And you should see that update very quickly, just as it has right there. Okay, So next up, what we're going to do is change themes, because right now the blog is a big, boring, white theme that doesn't have any sidebars, right? This is what it currently looks like. So let's go back here, and we're going to go to Appearance, and we're going to give this a little bit of a facelift and give it a new theme. Okay, So there's lots of different themes to choose from. The default right now is 2015. My personal favorite, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, is the Tiny Forge theme. It works, it's fantastic, and it looks good. I would highly recommend this theme. Also, 2011 over here is quite good. And then there's lots of other themes you might be interested in, but I can't really uh, vouch for the reliability. We're still testing some of these. So I'm going to just activate this because I know this is a great theme. Okay. And what that looks like, every time you that's activated, you can actually just visit the site. So I'm going to do a command click so it opens in a new tab and just look at it. And you should see it should look something like this. So this looks much nicer than that plain white theme with the big sidebar before, right? Now you can change this bumblebee if you want. Um, next up, what we're going to do is just look a little bit at putting your very first blog post. So this is Dan Dan's page. He can go on and kind of change some of these right here if he likes. This is stuff from last year, okay? Um, but if you want a new post, right up here, the new button, post, okay? And it kicks you into the new post area. So if you're doing reflections, if you're logging learning from the school, you can enter a engaging title, okay? You can record down here. This should give you a nice editor, so you should have different fonts and everything in here when you're typing. And then down over here, you'll notice categories. We spoke about this. Categories are essentially filters, kind of like folders. So if you are doing this for your social studies 
7 class, social studies 10 class, whatever the year, you might want to have a category that says that. If you're doing this for CAS, you might want to add a new category and make a CAS category, okay? And just add it right there, okay? You'll notice that it's going to be alphabetical order or it's going to prioritize things. There it is, okay? So once you've done that and you've written your post, you can hit publish. If you want to further filter from the category, you can also add tags. So in Dan Dan's case, let's assume this is about um, an amazing event, okay? An amazing event called Jin, right? Jin Saigon, right? And then he could reflect on Jin Saigon. He's put this under CAS right here for his category. And then for the actual tags, he might put Jin. Okay, separate with commas, or he might put Jin Saigon and add those. Okay, so those added right there. It just gives you more filtering. He would write what he needs. Maybe he's going to add a picture, and then he's going to hit publish. Okay, once that's published, to view that, we go over here. And in this case, I didn't publish anything. I'm just showing you what he has from last year. So you can see some of his other published posts that he's got. Right, here's an example of a published post. Okay, good luck. Let us know if you have questions in the IT department. Um, and happy blogging.